All right, we were walking out to the spot. I have entirely too much stuff for by myself today. We got the shack, the floor mats, the auger, life scope, rods. And we have, I hooked up a, another little sled with the heater, uh, my camera gear, and a little stovetop drill. We are gonna try and do a catch trip today. So that's exciting. I don't do them enough really. And I love eating fish. I love fried fish. And uh, about the only time I would really be interested in doing it is this time of year. So we are uh, hauling way too much stuff out, but really it's not hauling that bad. Um, I got a little carabiner on the back side of the big sled and uh, there's a perfect little powder of snow to help make it slide. So we got about another hundred yards to walk. And we'll catch you at the spot. We got the shack set up and uh, got a couple anchors down. It's not too windy, so I think I'm only gonna do a couple if I need to. I'll throw a, a tether on, and but right now we're gonna get everything loaded up inside the hut. Oh, well, we got everything in the shack. Um, Hopefully this works out. I'm not really seeing, eh, I'm seeing some fish, but they're not definitely, not like they were yesterday, but uh, maybe on the wrong side of the brush pile, but hopefully still make something happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna get everything kind of set up more and, uh, and then we're gonna start fishing. So stay tuned. All right, guys. We're gonna start out with a nice little natural jig and wrap. Uh, you guys can see that. Anyways, you guys get the hint. Natural jig and wrap. No bait. Uh, I did pretty well on it yesterday, so. Going to try that. We got about three, four foot of visibility. Oh shoot. This might not be the right hole to use. Like right on the tree there. But if I could get them to come out of the tree, that might be okay. There was some over here just a few minutes ago, but we may have to completely move our stuff. I'm not gonna move too far, but they were, uh, here yesterday. First fish. Nice. Big bluegill. There we go. Big bluegill on the old jig and wrap there and he is gonna be keep we're gonna cook him up a little a little later we got one on the board that took <clears throat> entirely too long a couple gills came in and uh, they wanted it just like yesterday they, the bluegills were really aggressive but just didn't really run into anything else most may still end up moving. Uh, I'm not really sure quite yet. We'll give it a little bit. It's only 1 a 1 p.m. Um, we got at least four hours of sunlight. I don't want to stay past dark. So. Up 
happy maybe. Green sunfish. Eh, we'll keep them. He absolutely uh, inhaled that thing. There's a couple more down there. Nine inches of ice. Same. Not a super giant, but uh, nice. They'll definitely keep. In Nebraska, we are uh, allowed uh, 15 panfish, um, crappie and bluegill. So, not going to keep that many, probably about 10 or so. Switched up to uh, tungsten and a plastic. He didn't like the jig and wrap. Had him down there interested in the jig and wrap, and he didn't really fully commit. And uh, there we are. A little spike looking plastic and just a tungsten. Number four. They're slowly starting to peck away. Nothing crazy, but some decent little bluegills. We got plenty of time, so I'm not really too worried about it, but they're kind of coming through here and there, but yesterday was absolutely gnarly. We, they never came off the screen. They're fighting over it. There's some bigger marks in there, too. Eater. I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you guys quite yet. There's still a lot down there. A huge school just rolled in. I'm, I got the live scope fo footage going for you guys. Oh yeah, look how aggressive they are. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, all bluegills. Look at that. We may get our, our keeper limit right here. In this whole school. See if they meet me. Oh, we got one maybe interested. We got one coming all the way over there. Oh, they're fighting over it. That was that top one you guys couldn't see. <laughs> Insane. Sorry about the noise of the geese. Oh my god, we might be done right here. This is what I was waiting for, is a big old school like this. Kind of want 
want this one down here. Oh, oh. One of you's gotta get it. Bottom one wants it. You got it. That's a better one. Thick. All right, now the school's kind of gone. But we just caught four in like I don't know five minutes. Absolutely insane. Awesome. The all on the uh, tungsten and little plastic. It's just a little power bait plastic. Nothing special. Uh, Show you here. Just a little power bait plastic guy, a little red guy. It's kind of like a little spike. Um, just simple, nothing crazy. I just kind of like nose hooked it. That was awesome. We're up to eight now. I think uh, two more. I'm not gonna obviously cook all of them right now, but we're definitely gonna cook up a. Uh, a good batch for ourselves, and then uh, I don't know. We'll still hang out here for a little bit, and we'll uh, still hang out here for a little bit, and then maybe we'll go explore the dam. Uh, maybe pack everything up and go find some new water, some new territory. Try to maybe catch some bigger, target some other things. Um, I'm not gonna keep anything bigger, but definitely wanted to do a pan fish little cook, catch and cook. Who's his leg on top of me? I don't do them enough, and I know you guys have requested them, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you are so far, like it, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you're new here. Um, Hopefully do, uh, as long as this one goes smoothly and my grill works fine and everything, we'll be doing some more catching cooks, hopefully. And also, we're going to try and do some, like, uh, camping, ice camping, now that I have my own shack. So, that's pretty exciting. I've kind of wanted to do that. That was a nice little school that came through, though. Let's hopefully another one comes through and we can knock some out. I want that one. Oh, that one's gonna get it. Oh yeah, that's the bigger one. Heck yeah, that's a nice one. so cool watching them just chase it there we go that's awesome now we can just uh, do some fun fishing and then uh, in a little bit we'll start cooking thing is from probably 1932 my grandpa's I don't really know if it's from 1932 um, I think my grandpa was born in like 33 or something like that even older than that I'm not sure anyways it was just a very old Coleman grill and uh, yeah the things pretty cool been in the family for a very long time and uh, last time I checked it worked we'll find out 
Coleman propane stove top. Forgot one thing. Starts up first before we start uh, cleaning all the fish. There we go. We got a flame. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna keep that off for a second. We're gonna. Clean the fish. I am not going to show you guys that process because, well, if you want to learn how to catch a fit, uh, clean a fish, I am not the guy. Hardly do it, so I'm a little rusty, and uh, yeah, it's just a long process that I don't want to bore you guys with. So, next time you see me, I'm going to show you some clean fish. So, I'm going to get out my supplies, um, a thing of water from home. Um, this cool little uh, pan thing from home. Little pan guy. Actually, now that I think of it, probably supposed to be that. There we go. It's not really that level. It'll, it'll work. That's what it's supposed to be like that. And then uh, water bottle of vegetable oil. And a couple of sandwich bags to mix the breading. And special, absolutely nothing special. Just um, some New Orleans seasoned fish fry. That's uh, what we're gonna use today. Nothing special. It's just what I had, actually. And uh, I'm not gonna let it use, let it go to waste. So, make sure you guys always clean up your trash. So, we got our breading here, um, the water. I'm just gonna clean everything off um, in this cup. Get our oil pour five of them and not too much for myself but I'm pretty hungry I'm gonna be out here for a few hours so I got the uh, the grill turned on and the oil heating um, I'm just gonna throw a time-lapse up of me doing the process so stay tuned all right guys we're about done uh, Look at that. Oh man. That is beautiful. Oh, one down. The only thing I forgot was any like sauce or anything. I don't know. It turned out pretty bad for I need to bring a better fork next time. Get that shut off. Alright guys. Look at that. Not too shabby. It looks pretty dang good to me. Um, I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. Um, I can't wait to eat all this. Uh, I don't know. I think I don't really care for that uh, breading. 
it's not that crispy. I like a real crispy filet. But, wow. Uh, this is falling apart. Mmm. It tastes really good, though. I really enjoy it. I love a good Cajun seasoning, though. So, next time we'll have to do something like that. But, yeah. I think that was a, a su success. The grill worked actually pretty good. And, yeah. These taste pretty good. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, I'm going to sit back and finish these and then get all this cleaned up and then we're gonna go uh, we're either gonna chill here I've had a ton of fish come through while I was cooking I just didn't really fish for them and we're gonna chill here for a few and uh, go venture on um, either you'll see that in this video or the next so thank you guys for watching